Hey guys, welcome to another video that I've been looking for forever, forever to find the perfect screen mirroring and controlling from your phone to the PC. And so far, I haven't been able to find something really good, solid, light that simply does the job and that's it. And today I found it and I want to share it with you. It is free. It's built by uh, somebody here, Jenny Mobile, whoever that is. Thank you for this beautiful build because I was getting so pissed off with a screen mirroring that I was using before with a Windows projection or the smart mirroring or any of that just simply didn't work or the Samsung Mobile, whatever they call that. Just none of them would work greatly, especially if I wanted to shoot a video from above with a phone and I wanted to have another phone camera and I wanted to monitor it or connect it to the OBS. And now finally we have it. We go here to this website. I will uh, leave, leave the GitHub GitHub uh, link on description. When you go to this page, this is all the explanation, how to use, how to install and all that stuff. On the right side here, you have releases. On the releases, it's a script Python, whatever is that 1.24. You scroll down and in my case, I'm gonna grab it for Windows 64. If you have Windows 32, you get 32. If you have Apple, you get these for Apple, whatever they are, tar and whatever Apple has. If they work, I cannot try because I don't have an Apple computer. You know, rich people problems. And I'm going to download the 64 version. And I already have it downloaded just to let you know, but I'm going to re-download it for you. So what do you do in this case? You open it up or open the folder. It's a zip file. You can either just extract it to where you want to extract it, or you just do the method I do. I already have it here already. Look at this folder. They're already copied here. I just go here, copy and paste or drag and drop in this case. Uh, I'm not going to do anything because I already have it. And that's all for the computer side. Now we need to prep the phone. We need to... Uh, open up the uh, developer options. How do we do that? That's very simple and very easy. Let me unlock this phone here. And as you see on the phone side, you just go to settings. If I can find them, then after you are at the settings, you go to the about phone. Then you go to your uh, software information. Then you click build number a million times. I'm just joking seven to 10 times and it uh, enables the uh, developer options. Then you go back, then you go developer options that shows up in the bottom of the menu and you go click enable USB debugging. It's this here. In your case will be grayed out like that. You just click it, click OK. And in some cases, if you are doing this for the first time, it will ask you to allow connection from this computer after uh, inputting the USB. As you see here, I'm plugging USB to my computer and you heard the ding ding. And now all you have to do on the computer side, go to this here. That's with some kind of green robot for Android here. SCR CPY. Double click it to open and it opens up. And this part here, we just minimize. This one here, we can minimize too because we don't really need it. You can open it full screen if you want to. And as you see, I am right now commanding my phone from my computer. The most that I needed from this uh, software was the camera. And yes, you can click right here to turn the camera on. And as you see here, yes, there is a cat picture right there. You open the cover because my phone has a cover on the back and this is the camera. And while I'm doing all this with the camera, for example, let me put something under the camera. So let me see. That's a screw. Yay, that's a screw. And I can take a picture just like that. Or I can go to video mode and I can record video. And if I want to record video sideways or what do you call widescreen, just flip the phone and uh, just put it actively on side mode or whatever you want to call or portrait mode. And you just play with it as long as you want, as much as you want and close it. And you can do all this stuff from your phone, as you, from your computer. As you see, you don't need to lift a finger and you just connect it with a USB without having to have internet or Wi-Fi or all that cute stuff that other apps somehow couldn't figure out to make it this easy as this guy made it here or this team of people. I don't know who they are really, but I just want to thank them for making this beautiful app 
finally, finally something that is not garbage. And I hope you learned something. And with that said, please subscribe. It helps this channel tremendously. And we'll see you next time. Bye.